so that's why they want to refine their technique and this is our experience that if somebody has learned initial surgery by probably a wrong technique or they were not supervised well they learn bad habits and now when uh, they are into those bad habits it's very difficult to unlearn and most of the time because of this they get into you know sticky situation they get into more complications so i think it is important to unlearn for them so for those surgeons it may take longer time to learn how to do complex procedures as compared to someone who is beginner not done any cases but now he is learning with a very supervised very step by the approach and every step is analyzed and he or she knows how to go ahead after every step so in that scenario if that surgeon has done say for example done under our supervision around 80 to 100 cases here definitely the surgeon is you know ready to take on complex cases but even complex cases has its own learning curve so that means if the surgeon has done say 50 70 80 regular cases and he does one hard cut try and he is successful in doing that it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the surgeon has conquered how to do that so even the complex cases will take its own learning curve okay now this is what i tell most of the surgeons who come to me uh, or only complex cases like that is their request that we are doing regular cases but we cannot do complex cases so teach us how to do complex cases so first thing what we do is that we ask them to do regular cases first because most of the times the you know problem lies in their basics so while approaching a complex case what we have is we have limited uh, you know margin of error that means for a regular case we can do a little bit of error in the steps still can get away with it but with complex cases that margin of error is limited so that's why in the regular cases you should have your basic steps perfect not 90% it should be 100% perfect then you can do complex cases 